museum is a place where time does not matter. Looking at the artifacts, we are experiencing the most vivid and exciting moments of history. The program Secrets of Museums on Kazakh TV channel. State symbols are one of the secure foundations of Kazakhstan's sovereignty. They represent the sacred, uniting image of independence. Nursultan Abishali Nazarbayev. Each state has its own official symbols. They are enclosed in the trinity of the flag, emblem and anthem. Each symbol represents the basic principles of political and social structure. They all comply with the fundamental law of the state, the constitution. Today we will tell you about how the emblem of Kazakhstan became a reflection of people's understanding of the world in accordance with the national state, idea, and also about the history of its creation. Astana, the museum of the first president. Here, the visitors can see exhibits symbolizing major milestones of the formation of Kazakhstan. Once you enter the museum, you will meet the composition representing the Tree of Life, which is a symbol of vitality and energy, material and spiritual wealth of the state. At the foot of the tree, there is the image of snow leopards. The image of a snow leopard takes a special place in the national symbols. It represents Kazakhstan that precipitously declared itself to the whole world and has achieved the recognition of the international community. The exposition, which is dedicated to the establishment of the statehood, represents historical documents and archival materials that tell about the main stages of development of Kazakhstan. Here is a copy of the newspaper with the published Declaration of Sovereignty, Reflections of the President Nursultan Nazarbayev. This is the constitutional law of Kazakhstan on the state independence from December 16, 1991. A typewriter, a work notebook of the president and a pen, which he signed the historic documents with. All museum exhibits reflect the political and social reforms, Kazakhstan's integration into the world community, economic and cultural transformations, as well as reveal the historical role of Nursultan Nazarbayev in the establishment of the independent state. A special place in the exposition belongs to the Constitution and the emblem of the Republic of Kazakhstan. Today we will tell more detailed information about the author of the emblem and how it had been created. Kazakhstan declared its independence in 1991. The work has begun on the development of the state symbols. The commission that held a competition among applicants for the creation of the main symbols of the country was founded in 1992. The President Nursultan Nazarbayev governed the work of the Commission. Janderbek Malbekov was born in 1942 in Kizorda region. His father and his younger years had been building the Turkship and connected his life with the railway. Janderbek's childhood was difficult and full of hardships. The future architect's mother and brothers died when he was a child. Janderbek survived thanks to his father, who managed to get his son vaccinated in the railway hospital. <laughs> 
Despite the advices of other people, his father did not give the boy to the orphanage and raised the son himself. Malbekovs lived rather poor. Every day, Jean d'Arbec walked on foot eight kilometers to school, and he helped his father on the farm, making the entire house work. Since my childhood, I liked to paint. People in my village called me an artist. I painted everything surrounding me, nature, our village, a train. Also, I made paintings copying portraits of Pushkin Lermontov Abai from the textbooks. I'm the son of the great steppe, a citizen of the vast rich lands. I grew up in a place where the genuine Kazakh traditions and way of life of Kazakhs had been preserved. Elders and Aksakals taught us to love our homeland. In 1959, after graduating from school, Jean Derbeck decided to go to study in Tashkent and to enter the art college. He chose this college because from childhood he loved to paint and draw. In addition, the college has provided dormitory, meals and scholarship. He had no money to go to the city. The young man had to get a temporary job from a wealthy woman and made 10,000 adobe bricks. While the sun didn't come out, take clay out of the pit, water it, then go away for a few hours and come back to make bricks. By the end of the day, again fill the pit with clay, fill it with water and leave for the night, so that the next day everything was ready for the work. So I made 10,000 bricks and I received 1,000 rubles, payment for the work. The future architect successfully coped with his first challenge. He earned money, bought a suit and went to the big city. Jean Derbeck was late. Admission to the college ended. He could not return to the village. He was ambitious. One of his fellows advised him to enter the Central Asian Polytechnic Institute. Having successfully passed the exams, Malibekov enrolled in a single group of architects where the study was in the Russian language. Not knowing a single word in Russian, Jean Derbeck taught hardly terms and rules. And at night, he worked as a loader at the market to earn a living. When we were students of the first course, we were sent for internship for three years on construction site, and in the evenings, we studied. I was in the brigade of plasterers, guided by the Greek colonel Similides. This team gave me the opportunity to become better acquainted with Greek architecture, capital, columns, portal, and friezes. In the evening, teachers from Moscow and Leningrad taught us, so I received theoretical and practical knowledge. I loved and respected architecture very much. I like to draw, to see how the lines are born, telling about the scale and proportions. This is an unforgettable moment. Moment, 
By 1991, Malibekov was already an honored architect, built a large number of facilities, participated in international competitions for the development of architectural structures. Once, someone gave him the newspaper where there was an announcement of competition on creation of Kazakhstan's emblem. Malibekov became interested. For a month, he thought about the idea, watched the existing emblems, reread and revised large scale historical researches. He was inspired with patriotism and a great desire to benefit to his homeland. Jandarmek Malibekov knew an emblem should reflect the culture of the Kazakh people and thousands of years of history of his ancestors, Sakas, Huns, Turks, Kipchaks. He recollected folk sayings and wishes that he heard as a child from the old men. May your dome be high, walls broad, a threshold strong. These words are an integral part of the steppe Kazakh people. They are related to the family, health, and a yurt. The yurt, in this case, is a symbol of rebirth, persistence, and striving upward, a unique invention of people which is used until present times. Therefore, the yurt is supposed to be a symbol of Kazakh statehood. Malibekov painted the central part of heraldic element, Shanrak, Dome of the Yurt. That symbolizes the peace of multinational Kazakhstan. The dome against a sky blue background, which irradiates sun rays, the Yurt's support. It is a symbol of common home and unified homeland for all people living in Kazakhstan. The animal style also attracts attention. It is characteristic to the Kazakh folk art, originating from the time of the ancient sagas. There are the wings of mythical horses, inspired by Tulpar, framing the emblem, which represent the nature and the soul of Kazakhs. They have a special place in the way of life of the Kazakh people. Traditions, worldview, philosophy were formed in the nomads prancing on horseback. Also, the emblem was supposed to have a symbol of hope and happy way. When old men say good wishes to youth, they say, let your star shine. During migration, steppe ancestors were always guided by the stars. Therefore, a five-pointed star imagined at the top of the emblem. As afterwards, Kazakh president told, let it shine for our descendants. The competition lasted only three months, January, February and March. It took four weeks for Malibekov to finish the work. In the spring of 1992, he presented his own version of the emblem to the commission. In total, 293 applications were submitted. After some time, the architect received a call telling that he was admitted to the final of the competition. Architectural education helped very much Malibekov. He knew that if the image of the emblem is flat, it will look poorly and no one seriously will accept this work. Therefore, the author made a choice in favor of volume image. Extensive experience in the construction helped him create the emblem from the technical side. Completeness and content of the work were repeatedly marked then. The members of the commission and the president of Sultan Nazarbayev chose the version of Malibekov.
making a scale model of the emblem with a diameter of 1.8 meter, Malibekov ordered a truck to go to Almaty. It was impossible to transport such a freight on a plane or by train. Having packed the piece of work in a double layer of the mattress, the architect set off. At that time, roads were in very poor condition. Malibekov worried about the scale model and feared to damage it. He had to constantly ask the driver to be cautious on the road. First, the driver reacted abruptly. They almost had a quarrel several times. So the driver was impatient and asked, Listen, do you have a lead glass with you? Why are you so worried for your own goods? If a lead glass, answered the architect, would I worry so much for it? You can't even imagine what kind of thing I'm taking. And what is there, sir, surprising? The driver asked. The emblem, Malikov replied calmly. After these words, the driver straightened his shoulders. He stopped talking and began to think. There was an expression of pride on his, on his face. Every person has such feeling which arises when he realizes he's making something important in life. Several times the driver went out of the car, checked the freight so that everything was in order with the package. Now he realized that he was responsible for the future symbol of the country and felt as if he was a part of a historical event. Just think about it, I'm taking the emblem, he kept saying, no one has the right to stop me. The man looked as if he was personally responsible for a new symbol, although at that time it was true. After the emblem was approved, it was necessary to create a reference sample. Time was short, so the artist Vladimir Ivanov from the Supreme Council was sent to assist Zhandarbek Malibekov. At that time, he was producing all state orders and insignia and had a great experience in the design of solid models. Colleagues immediately set to work, but soon realized that, for its successful completion, they should work together for a very long time. Then Vladimir Ivanov offered Malibekov to live and work in his two-bedroom apartment. Ivanov's wife and daughter lived in the bedroom, the host himself lived in the hall, and Jandarbek Malibekov lived in an enclosed balcony. Companions lived and worked within three months in such conditions. But none of them thought about the living conditions. They were overwhelmed by the main idea, the creation of a reference sample of the emblem. After the sample has been made of plaster, it was cast in bronze at one of the factories in Almaty. It weighed 32 kilograms. So the emblem of Kazakhstan was designed, together with other state symbols. It held the first position in the presidential palace. And in 1997, it was transferred to Astana. The whole world recognized us. This became possible thanks to the correct policy of the Kazakh president Nursultan Abisholi Nazarbayev, who in 25 years has made a huge step forward.
he managed to implement what for thousands of years could not implement any of his predecessors. There is the idea of Mangalik Yell, and to reach it, we must work for our own people, for our own country. Throughout the time, the emblem remained unchanged. Now the work is underway on classification of its components, a total of 40 items. Each of them is given a detailed description of the form and meaning. Every citizen of Kazakhstan should know the structure and design of the emblem of the country and the meaning of its components. After all, the emblem is one of the secure foundations of our sovereignty. It expresses the uniting image of Kazakhstan's independence.